Adventures. Greetings all, it's Chook here from Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Well, I know some people will call me crazy, but I believe in some cases the AK is a perfect hunting rifle for a K. Now, a lot of people will disagree with me and that's fine, but there's a lot of reasons why it's perfect. And it takes me back to a coworker I had. He was from Barrow and it, it's just so great when you work with someone who hunts because that's we'd see each other, make eye contact. That's all we would talk about if we got together was about hunting. And I was just tickled when he told me that he shot a walrus in the village there or outside the village with his AK. Now he used full metal jacket. A lot of people, I've talked about this before, a lot of people in the villages will get ARs or AKs and ammo and shipping and everything is so expensive up there that they will buy bulk ammo just to save their money and do hunting even with the ball ammo and dispatch everything. Now a walrus is, you know, all these things weigh a ton. I mean, that's like a huge mammal. That's bigger than a bear. And uh, he took it out with his AK and he was really excited about the story. He told me about it and I, I was just tickled pink. So this is my latest Polish, it's a kit AK, but it's my first real AK because that Wasser didn't really count. Uh, you know, they messed it up when they imported it. So you couldn't even put a bayonet. This has everything that I wanted, the folding triangle stock. I am going to put the Bakelite handle back on pistol grip. Uh, but I can put a, a bayonet. Speaking of, Northern Knives is making a crazy custom bayonet to snap on there. I'm very excited about that. But that, that Wasser was cool, but just rattled a lot. This is all matching numbers, fits great. And it's from 1984. It was never fired until I fired it. And it does have a, whatever that is, the AGL trigger. And um, it has been Cerakoted, which is interesting. I've never had an AK that had a black Cerakote job like that. So the reason I think this would be great for hunting in Alaska, I'm thinking medium sized large game, because uh, you can compare this round, the 7.62 by 39, to a 30-30 round. Now it's not going to be as good in some cases or exactly the same, and the the dimensions are not exactly the same as the diameter, but it is pretty close. So, you know, good to a couple hundred yards, sometimes more, you know, maybe 300 yards. Uh, you're going to be able to take deer, caribou, black bear, and the accuracy I got with this really surprised me. With, with all the ammo, it didn't matter if I was using steel case hollow points or this, this Winchester Deer Season XP, I was still getting just a little over an inch group. Now for an AK, that is really good. Uh, I was getting the same groupings that I was with my fancy 300 Win Mag that had the Atlas bipod and the Night Force scope. So what I have here is a Vortex Strike Eagle LPVO. I think it's great. And uh, most of the hunting I do, I'd say 90% of the animals I've taken were between 80 and 180 yards. And this would totally work for that. Now, the other reason that that I think this is good is for bear protection. Uh, these will work in any weather. They are very reliable. It's not going to jam on me because it's an AK. And if you run into a bear, this will get the job done. There was that famous story, boy, it was back in 2007 or something. That guy, I used to think it was a AK-47, but it was the AK-74. So the 565 round, he ran into that uh, sow bear on the Russian river and just took it out with his AK-74, which was, you know, he got in such big trouble because that was pretty stupid because everybody had been fishing around that bear. He, he just freaked out because it was up close to him, uh, but that bear wasn't going to do anything. But it shows that it will take it out. And the 7.62 by 39 is way more devastating than that smaller 5.45 round. So it's a great round, and if you have to, you can use it for bear protection. I suggest a smaller, like a 10 round. This is a 20 round mag, but hunting, I'll probably use a 10 round mag. It doesn't matter here in Alaska, we can use what we want, but just in case I wanna go prone or something like that, I think a 10 round mag would be good for hunting, but just for getting down on your knee, and it's fairly light. I mean, I would say this is typical of a seven and a half pound uh, standard hunting rifle that I would carry out in the woods. This is hunting rifle weight, so it's perfect, fit on my pack, 
if, um, when I'm you know traveling or if I want to, I can fold the triangle stock. So I simply love everything about it. Um, I was going to hunt with it because I thought I was going to the village uh, for caribou, but the stinking herd changed and they're not even going to that village anymore where my cousin's at. So I decided not to go and I did not hunt with this. I hunted with one of my mountain rifles, but there are certain hunts probably next year that if I go on and it, it meets the right requirements where it's going to be medium sized game and uh, fairly short distances, I will absolutely hunt with this. Very accurate and just a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think. Not only is it good for hunting, but you can train with it. It's a good survival weapon too. So thanks for tuning in. It's Chook, your friend in the field. Shoot out adventures! Why should you almost die every time? Guaranteed!